वेलकम बैक मेथड्स इन पाइथन आर वेरी वेरी पावरफुल देर आर अ वराइटी ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू कैन पास टू देर इन दिस स्पेसिफिक स्टेप लेट्स फोकस ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल द डिफरेंट थिंग्स दैट यू कैन पास टू अ मेथड नॉर्मल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स डिफॉल्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वेरिएबल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एंड की वर्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स लेट्स क्रिएट अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल मेथड आई कॉल दिस एग्जाम्पल मेथड you don't want to define a method so let's start with def and to this we'll have different kinds of parameters the first one i would call mandatory parameter the second one i'll say it's default parameter and the value i would give it is default for parameters you can assign default values in python so that's what we are using in here default parameter is equal to default so if this parameter is not passed the default value will be default the third one is something called variable parameter so variable parameters variable arguments so what i'll do is i'll say it's a variable parameter but the important thing is the star before it so i'm putting a star before it we'll see what it means a little later the last one is called keyword arguments and let's put a double star before this typically instead of the variable parameter these are also called args so i'll say star args so we have star args star star keyword args and we have a mandatory parameter and a default parameter defined and all that we do in this method is very simple we'll print all the values out so i'll say i'll use a formatted string and print each value so mandatory parameter and the value of the mandatory parameter let's use a triple quote so that we can actually print the string as is so triple quote is very similar to double quote except that with triple quote you can split your text over multiple lines so i can do something of this can mandatory parameter is equal to this and things like this so the string can be split over multiple lines if you use triple quote what i'm doing now is i'm actually printing out all the values that are passed in cool isn't it now we have a simple method let's look at how i can call this method the idea behind this video is to understand the all these things which are being passed in how can you call this method and what gets passed to this method when it's called in different ways so let's get started with the basic way of calling this right example method there's a mandatory parameter and all the other ones this is a default parameter and this is variable arguments and this is keyword arguments what would happen if i just say example method what do you think will be the output run mm hmm it says missing one required positional argument the thing is this one is something called a positional argument the mandatory parameter is a positional argument because this does not have a value so you should definitely pass a value to it so you can see that it's giving a compilation error now let's say i would want to call this with a value for that the way i can pass a value to this mandatory parameter is by saying let's say 15 what does it do you can see what are the values that are being passed in so the mandatory parameter is getting a value of 15 the default parameter because we did not pass any value in it it's getting a value of default the args is an empty one of the things you can already see is args is a tuple so that's why it's represented with parenthesis and you can see that the keyword arguments is empty as well and you can see that this is a dictionary because it's shown with a curly braces there is another way you can do exactly the same thing how can i do that the other way is to use the name of the parameter i can say mandatory parameter is equal to 15 and what would happen is exactly the same there's no change it exactly is the same so in in python you can also use name of the parameter to set a value to it when you are calling it this is called named parameters or named arguments let's now look at other ways of calling this method let's comment this out and let's call this now example method and let's say i'm passing in 25 comma i'm passing in 45 what would happen you can see that the mandatory parameter is 
the default parameter is 45 so it's not using the default anymore it's using 45 arcs is this and keyword arguments is this one of the important things is python does not really worry about the type you can see that the default value is of a different type and the value i'm passing in is of a different type python does not worry about it at all it does not worry unless you are doing something specific calling a method of that specific type the execution would be continuing without a problem so over here we are able to pass in 45 or you'd be able to even pass in a string so i can say some string and run it without a problem so you can see default parameter is some string now let's get to the interesting parts right so we want to see what's getting passed to arcs keyword arcs so i'm getting this a call with 25 comma string one and we'll pass a set of other strings as well i'll say string two string three what will happen what is happening now is mandatory parameter is matched against this so 25 becomes mandatory parameter string one is mapped against default parameter and the string two and string three you can see are in the args tuple you can typically use args when you want your api consumer to be able to pass multiple values so over here he can either pass two values he can pass more number of values as well right so let's say he wants to pass four values string four string five now you'd see that you would have args having four different values so star args here allows you to pass any number of parameters so you can pass the arguments one argument 10 arguments 15 arguments they would match against this and you can use them in your method as a tuple take a pause here and in the next step let's look at keyword arguments until then bye bye